Hey guys, how's it going? You're watching Nostalgic Reviews on the Nostalgic channel. Hey, my name's Nas. Check this out. This is what we're unboxing and reviewing. That's right. So, some of you are like, Nas, this has been out for like years. Sure, you're not wrong. But it hasn't been, it's been out so long that these are kind of hard to come by. This is a 124 scale uh, Jada Dom's Mazda RX-7 from Fast and the Furious. Looks a little angry there. So yeah, <laughs> this is the first car from the first movie only that Dom left in a freaking parking garage and we never heard from this car again. I don't know why. I feel like I don't know. I don't know why the car was just left there and we don't know what happened to it at all. Like, it's the weirdest thing ever. But, um, okay, so we're going to open this and check it out. But, um, so I don't necessarily, I don't, really, I don't collect 124 scale. I only collect certain Fast and the Furious 124 scale. So let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I have eight, and this is the ninth um, Fast and the Furious casting from Jada. So, um, I couldn't find this for the longest time, guys. And um, finally, uh, this was given to me as a gift by my two very good MFing friends, <laughs> Vic and Lana, man. Vic and Lana, thank you so much if you're watching this. You guys totally blew me away when you... Um, gave this to me the other day uh, we were um, at Columbus farmers market farmers market doing um, a little bit of a you know die cast hunting and just hanging out and um, you know they uh, at the end of it they're like hey man we have some stuff for you they opened the box and this was in there and I'm like what <laughs> so uh, I tried to uh, play it cool but um, yeah man Vic Lana, thank you. This is a big deal to me. I really appreciate this. Uh, it's just a beautiful piece. And you, they know that I've been trying to freaking find this car. Um, everyone that watches my videos knew <laughs> that I've been trying to find this car. Uh, a few people even uh, offered to send, send it to me or pick it up for me. But I was like, man... To be honest with you, to buy this and then to pay for the shipping, to get it shipped to me, it's, you know, I might as well buy it on eBay for that same price. So I, I pretty much said no to everybody, and I do appreciate that people reached out, but, you know, I'm not trying to uh, spend crazy money here. Um, and then in the end, there you go, I, <laughs> I got this as a gift from, from two friends, so super happy about it. So uh, let's see, which ones do I have? I have... Jesse's Jetta. I actually have Jesse's Jetta signed by Chad Lindbergh, the actor that played Jesse. I have Brian's Nissan. Now I have the Mazda. I have the Toyota. That's it from this box, but I also have Suki's uh, S2000. I have Han's RX-7. I have uh, DK's uh, Z, the black one from Tokyo Drift, and of course I have Brian's Eclipse from the first one, and I have the Black Hako GTR from, um, I think, Fast 7? I don't remember. You know, the, the all black one. Very beautiful. I'm not saving the box, so don't get too upset with me for being left with this box, which belongs to me. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, wow. I am so stoked that I have this in my collection, guys. Now, let's go hyper speed here. Okay, guys, <laughs> here we go. Hopefully you enjoyed all my fake fast talking. Okay, so let's cut these open. Oh my gosh, there's so much, so much to cut here. Ooh, I might have just cut myself. We'll see, we'll see. If 
you see red, that's not the car, then you'll know that I've done and was cutting towards myself, not away from myself, and I ended up cutting myself. All right, so there you go, man. Look at this. Okay, I'll get these screws out of here. Ah, <sighs> man. So yeah, the uh, the saga is over, man. The saga is over. Finally, have the RX-7, Dom's freaking RX-7, the one from the first movie, from the first race, the iconic. Before we saw the dang Dodge. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh yeah, I did cut myself right there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So yeah, there you go, guys. Cut away from yourself. This would be my first cutting on camera. Which I'm sure will make some people very happy that that finally happened after at least five years of me mocking everyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what happens. Okay, so, I have a little screen in there, chrome screen. That's pretty cool. I just love this car, man. Like, straight up. This is beautiful. Just, oh my god. I, honestly, about two years I've been trying to pick this up. Um, just to have on my wall with the rest of the the most you know most iconic cars from Fast and Furious. This is definitely one of them. I was a street racer before these movies came out. I actually kind of stopped when after this movie came out um, because it became way too popular and way too dangerous. Like people were running into crowds. I used to race in. Um, Aramingo Avenue in Philly with my uh, 1987 Shelby Dodge Lancer. Uh, so yeah. So this this means a lot to me. That's why I love Fast and the Furious. It was just kind of kind of there when I was really into it, and it's uh, still there now. <laughs> it's about to wrap up with Fast X, like Part Two or whatever. Fast X B or whatever they're gonna call it. They're probably gonna go back in time uh, in the DeLorean. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it, man. Thanks to uh, two of my very good friends, Vic and Lana. I now have one of my, I guess, I guess, uh, grails. You know, like, I, I could have spent a whole lot of money on eBay and picked this up, but I just, I try not to resort to eBay for things that aren't, like, crazy you know hard to find and uh yeah i just really wanted to find this in person and you know vic and lana beat me to it <laughs> they're like here you go just stop torturing yourself just take this thing so yeah does the hood open from this side or i'm not sure if it opens at all not that it matters this isn't really a review per se like it is a review but it's more of me just telling you that you know this this chapter of my collection is closed achievement unlocked thanks to good friends so there you go and it's beautiful look at it i'm sure you guys are watching this and you probably want one now <laughs> the only other version i have is the the hot wheels uh, 164 the original release the fast and the furious so yeah all right there you have it, folks. That'll uh, we'll call that a unboxing and review, and uh, you know, always cut away from yourself and always close your knives, and uh, you won't have a little boo boo. It's all itchy now. It's so itchy and annoying. God, oh god. Anyway, would have been cool if it was like a gusher and like they're just getting blood all over the place. I totally would have left the camera running. <laughs> like I don't cut out embarrassing moments. Uh, I I think they're funny and. Uh, Anyway, whatever. <sighs> so yeah, I'm stoked, man. Here, let me show you where I hang these before I go. That way you know what's up. <sighs> okay. So this is so this is like my collection. Most of you that watch know what it looks like. 
Uh, let's brighten this up a little bit. There we go. So, uh, yeah, and I have them hanging there, basically, kind of like a lineup almost. So there's Suki, there's the Skyline, RX-7, Jesse's Jetta, DK's Z, Eclipse. Anyway, so there you go. And I gotta have my dark horse back there. You know how we do it. <laughs> so yeah. And uh, let's see, here we go. There's the 164 scale. So yeah, man. And uh, this is one of my grails right here. Got this from Joe's Rush Shop. Thank you, Joe, once again. He sent that to me. That is signed by Jesse right there, Chad Lindbergh himself. Super stoked about that. That's it. <laughs> <sighs> all right cool man so yeah that's it hopefully you enjoyed this um, that's it man i should have kept the whole thing this bright i make my videos very dark for some reason there you go makes them mysterious all right okay i'm out of the uh 5, peace and love everyone um bye <laughs>